YouTube, it's your boy Dre. I'm back with another tutorial, and today's tour, I'm gonna show you guys how to make what you see on the screen to listen straight to it. And basically, I'm gonna show you how to make a photo appear type rapper banner. So it ain't gonna be the best, but it's gonna be like an alternative to the Photoshop one. So if you enjoy it or I helped you out, so make sure you drop a like, subscribe, it'll be highly appreciated. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go to photo appear, then go to file, go to new, and you just want to pick 1546 by 420. Three. So 423 gonna be your height and 1546 is gonna be your width. So we can just gonna start a new project. You can name it if you want. And I'm gonna just name it this and I'm gonna hit create. Alright, so after you create it, you can just click on the background with the paint bucket tool. I already got my color over here black. So I just went over here right click with the paint bucket tool and then clicked on it. And we're gonna be using this background later on. But once you got this right here, I'm just going to Google and I typed in Fertile Bang and I just got this screenshot. So you want to right click, copy your image or whatever you pick and just come over here, hit Control V. And it might ask you a question, just hit yes and click on the side like this right here. And hold up, let me see. You just click that and you can make it smaller or bigger. Now personally, I'm probably going to have mine. Let me see. I'ma just pick out how I want mine and I'ma be bad with all. And if you see like this happen right here, for example, you click on the side, you can just hold shift and make it smaller. So like the edge just won't mess up. So yeah, just hold shift, make it bigger or smaller. Kinda have something like this. And once you got something like this, just put it down. Then you wanna hit P on your keyboard. Hit control and the place them to zoom in. And I'm gonna cut this out and I'm probably gonna speed it up while I cut out, but you just wanna cut out like this. And yeah, I'm gonna be back with y'all on that. So when you get right here, just connect the dots and then you want to right click, make selection. And I ain't made this layer, made layer visible so I can have it like that and just hit OK. After you do this, go down here and just hit Control J. Now, I think you can do this also. This works like I showed this in my Photoshop tutorial before, but you can just do like this and then you come on here, click on the little mesh, whatever, and take out whatever you don't want with the black brush. You can just make it smaller with the brackets. And just come on the edge and like just show yourself out. So I'ma do this real quick, probably speed it up and I'm about to try to get done. Alright, so once you get this, I'ma just find a background, so I'ma go look for one. And I was thinking about just using this right here, like on my other one. If you want to, you can just right click, copy the image, come over to it. And I'm going to Photoshop, I'ma trip But just go on Photo Peer, hit Control V, and when it come in, kind of just like put it where you want. You can make it a little bit smaller, but I'ma find the size that I want. Just click on here, hold Shift, make it a little bit smaller. And let me see how I want this. Um, yeah, I'ma just have my like this hit check mark and yeah, I'ma show you what to do next. So you just wanna put this on soft light, yeah, make a layer in between here, hit be on your keyboard, hold alt and click on a color like this. Like and hold alt and click the color by the way, like and now that you got this, just go behind it with the brush tool and make it bigger with your brackets. 
and you can just use it like this but well, just like what i do on photoshop but on photo appeal so you probably seen me do it before so now that you got this these are my brush settings right here so yeah make a new layer go above here and just go across the whole image and then go to color after you go to color just lower the opacity a lot on it probably something like this now that you got that go over here and add brightness and contrast then you want to right click, create a clipping mask on this, and up the brightness on Fredo Bang. And I'll do uh, over there. So, yeah, just like that. Now you want to create a new layer over here. Hold all and kind of like click these colors and make the small little brackets. Like, boom, boom, hold alt, click, and then like just click with the color again on like the edges. So it looks something like that. And go to screen or the opacity. All right, so now that you got that, create a new layer behind here with the same color. Just go behind it like that, and you can put it on screen once again and lower the opacity until you have something like that. Oh yeah, just have something like that right there. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to Genesis pack and I'm gonna go get this CC. And if you wanna know what about the pack, feel me, I'm gonna put it in the description. Or if I don't put it in the description, you know, cause I'll be forgetting sometimes, just hit me up for it. But yeah, I'm gonna look for a color creation. I'm probably gonna choose number eight, that's like my favorite number, even outside of here. But yeah, I'm gonna choose number eight on here. Go up here, delete the layer like so. And you should have something that looks something like that. Next thing you wanna do, Create a new layer, hit B on your keyboard, and just go down here, pick the black color, and go up here. And what you can do is just make this brush a little smaller because on photo P, like the brushes, they like the range on them is very different from Photoshop if you ever used it. So you just want to do something like that. You can pick soft light and lower the opacity, then click control J on the layer, like so, to duplicate it and put that on normal. And a little opacity a little bit more on it so you have something like that now what you can do is go to filter blur and i don't actually don't know if they have it i don't think they have it for real let me see other uh, blur blur more nah they ain't got it so i ain't gonna do that right there but i'm gonna show you what to do next and yeah <sighs> all right so next thing you want to do is make a new layer go up here be in keyboard and then let me see pick this color right here the whole all on these colors again go about down here and you just want to go across like this and i'll make it a little bit smaller but yeah just go across like that until you get like a line coming across and if you ever seen my tutorials you probably know what i'm gonna do but yeah you just want to do something like that for right now next thing i'm gonna do is create like a white brush color and pick this and I'm gonna go behind them, just click like two times, and I'm probably gonna put it on overlay and lower the opacity like so. And now what I'm doing, I'm going to Genesis Pack and find like a fake to pick. And I'm gonna be back with y'all and I find the one I want. All right, so I'm gonna get this fake. I'm gonna make Control C, come over here, hit Control V, hit the layer, and just hold this, click that and hold Shift and just drag it over like so. Now that you put it behind it, hit Control U. Come on here, colorize, and you can mess with the saturation. Just make sure you get like to the orange type color, or whatever, with it. And yeah, let me see. Yeah, just get to like a color like that you know, over here, and you can put it on overlay. Not overlay. I'm trimming. I'm trimming. You can put it on screen and mess with the opacity on it like so. I'll just put it on screen and put it by like right there and have it like yeah something like that you can hit control you again on the layer i try to fix it up it's some saturation something like that Cut new layer b and alt and you just click like yeah something like that around it so it'd be like glowing on to them tight on and yeah okay new layer boom boom then put that on screen and you can just load up past so it'll have like a glow fake on them 
they stay want to do is go to the top and go to Brandis and Contrast, and you just want to order Brandis over the whole thing. So it'd be something like that. Then you can just lock the layer if you want to, so you have to mess with it. But yeah, it should look something like that. All right, so the next thing you want to do, create a new layer above it, then go to uh, create, go to clipping mask, and go over here, pick a color like this. And I'm gonna just get this black color and come like at the bottom with it on the brush. So yeah, have something like that. You can pick soft light or you pick normal. Pick normal, just load up past a lot more. Then you can go above it, create another clipping mask. And you pick the color white and do like this right here. Just go on the edge with it. And yeah. What I do is just go overlay, lower the opacity a little bit, or you can do soft light. It's up to you. Soft light or overlay. But yeah, just have something like that. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do, add a little social panel down here. So I'm just create a new layer up here and drag this across and this light down. You can hold shift while dragging it, but it's gonna do like that. But yeah, you, this is how you like align it. Drag it across, hit G on your keyboard, and it's gonna take it to the, like, the paintbook tool. You can just right click, go to it. Pick the color black, click like that. And you can just click back on the screen. And then you can lower the opacity on the whole image. Something like this. So yeah, you have something like that. And for the socials, you can just go over here to the T symbol, click on your screen. I'm gonna just hit enough dragging and I'm gonna type whatever fun they give me because I don't know how to add fonts on this right here. So I'm gonna just do default Twitter slash. Then, yeah, something like that. And you gotta do no, like, you can, if you figure out how to do the fun, you can do it, but I'm not really gonna do no fun on here. So I'm gonna just do enough dragging. And I'm just trying to show y'all how to make something if y'all don't have no access to Photoshop. I do that and just hit Control J. You can control and push them to zoom in. And you can hold shift while moving this over too. And change it to YouTube or something. Like so. Hold control. Get both of these and just drag it kind of to the center. So it should look something like that. All right, so now you got the tissues on this TT thing. And you can put like um metallic on it if you want. I, I put a telec on my last one, but you can just add on there if you want to. Next thing I'm going to do is do the text, and that's pretty much going to be almost it to the tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to do like a cool effect on here. For the text, I got a layer style that I did on like last IRL banner. So I'm just going to blend the option, go to gray and overlay. I'm going to show you how to kind of fix it up. So just go over here, pick this color. I'm going to go over here and pick the color again. And in the middle, I'm going to pick like a lighter color or something like that. And you can just center this, put the position like 50%. I think that's how you do it. And yeah, you know, okay. On this, okay. And then hit Control J on it. And take it from in the middle of this right here. So you just put it like that. Take this, kind of put it at the back. Let me show you what to do. Put it all the way back here. Then you want to. Lower the field, keep the opacity, take this off, and make it bigger. And this gonna have like a stroke effect, what number the stroke is showing. So you'll see what I mean. Then, after you do it like how you want to, what you can do is go to opacity and just lower the opacity a little bit. And I'm gonna take it up and put it like over that so it's a little different. So put it right about right, right there. And just load up past a little bit more. And yeah, so after this, I'll probably click on this and make this a little bit bigger. And mind you, this is a photo piece tour, so I ain't doing nothing too crazy. But hold out on these, boom, 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 boom. And just like click the colors on the image. And you want to go to screen. And you will have something like that. I don't know how to add fonts in here, but I'm pretty sure 
if you could add a front that would make it a little better now i'm gonna try like a telegram on this also to see how it looks i probably i don't know it's up to you if you want to do a telling i probably don't know i probably just keep it like that but if you can definitely change the front it'll look like probably 10 times better that's why I, I don't know how to change the front but if i could you feel me it would look better but that's how i'm gonna just keep it like this and i'm gonna go back to the genesis pack and i'm gonna get like these um let me see where is it i think it's the dust line like it scratches or something like this so i'm gonna just get one of these to control c come over here hit control v and i'm gonna put this on shift boom and i'm gonna put it like this after i put it like this um just hit the check mark on it from the plus i'm gonna zoom in start from the top and you come all the way down to the bottom just hold shift group it and then hit control j after you want to hit control e on that top one and i'm gonna wait for that to load up so once you load up hit m come across control j then convert to smart object and should just have this so when you click on it should look like that after you want to hit control j on that again or the filter blur gaussian blur and you can have something like this it's up to you how long you want it to be i mean how hard you want it to be so you do lighter color and yeah you can do some like that now the like this effect don't have to be that harsh It'd be like 18 or something but yeah just go on it but this once again for like last time so you can get like the color looking better you want to go to screen kind of lower the opacity a little bit it'll be something like that and to export the only thing you would do is file export as and you can go to png and save it and when you see you open it they go to file right there but to put it in like the youtube size what you do just go download go all the way down and you would just go to youtube channel art thing file open hit control c on this come over here control v and hold shift and if you have a lock guy on it should help you lock it to the center now you can hit control and the plus symbol to come in and yeah you want to hit control j hold shift drag it over here hit control j and then drag it over here with shift and hit control e on this right to the background hit control u and you just want to turn the lightning down like so after you do that create a new layer for the background hit g on your keyboard and then just place paste in the color really and you can turn the lightness down now if you want to keep this same color as the background it's something you because it don't look that bad but i'm gonna just turn it down and put black on it so after you can just go to file export as and then put png save it and it'll save automatically so after that just make sure you go over here control is and the file will save over here so and it's gonna save as a psd file so you can put this in photoshop also so I'm gonna leave the PSD in the comment section. I know I be saying it, but if I don't leave it, just make sure you check me on it so I can send it to you. But that's pretty much how you make it. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, me by Dragon. Peace out.